Christian, many congratulations. Incredible back-to-back -back victories for you in your homeland. Reflect for us, first of all, on the Alfred Dunhill win, which was one you said you'd always wanted to, to lift the trophy. Yeah, Leper Creek has always been a special place to me, uh, personally. Um, I'd, I'm, I know quite a few members there, and I'm also pretty close with Mr. Rupert as well, which is a owner there. And um, I always like to go there, my downtown as well, when I'm back home. Uh, it's only a three hour drive from home with the best back facilities in the world. Um, so, really fortunate enough to to be able to to spend a, a lot of time there and um, obviously to know the course pretty well as well. Um, yeah, so that was that was always very high up up on my list to twenty wins that I want to win and to have done it now is is a special feeling. You went on to go even higher in the sense that for every South African, surely winning the South African Open, particularly at Sun City, such an iconic course, must have been incredibly special. Just tell us about that from your point of view. Yeah, probably special as well. Uh, second win in a row. Uh, and for that to have been the South African Open as well. I came close in 2016 when I finished second. At Glendower, uh, which was a close call, we had a great battle that Sunday afternoon, um, and yeah, I mean it's a it's a really really special tournament for all South African golfers, and if you look at the names on that trophy as well, um, people that have won that who went on to go and win majors and PJ Tour events and and things like that, so it's a really really special tournament for South African golfers and they're yeah, really pleased to tick that box as well. You've jumped now to fifth in the Race to Dubai ranking so you've got a real chance now to potentially end the year as European Tour's number one player and join the illustrious list of champions down the years. How special would it be to pull that off? Yeah amazing. Um, I haven't really thought of that yet. Um, it's been a long, long five, five Six weeks this, uh, I was in the States before the Joe Gopal played in the Masters, then I went straight back out, um, played those three tournaments in South Africa, and now I'm here. So um, I've actually just been taking it easy over the last couple of days, just did my work. Um, um, so yeah, it'd be nice to f finish off the year with a proper bang, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a Really good courses. I like this place. Um, hopefully, I can keep the keep my game going. And yeah, you, you never know what might happen on Sunday. Our broadcast now goes all around the world. Many people don't know your story, the tragic accident you suffered as a youngster. Can you talk a little bit about that for us and tell us what happened and, and how it affected you? Yeah. So when I was about two years old, uh, I accidentally drank rat poison. Rat poison. Um, we, were, we were in a supermarket and, and there were rat, rat poisons standing in the corner. And my mom, mom, my dad just turned their back for 10 seconds and I picked up the bottle and I drank it. Um, unfortunately, it was rat poison and I had to be rushed to the hospital. I was in ICU for a couple of weeks uh, where they had to, to do many operations and bump up my stomach and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was a close call, what I've heard. Um, very f fortunate to to be able to be here, uh, doing what I love all, all around the world, being a professional golfer as well. And yeah, unfortunately, that that rat poison had a had a effect on my nerve system, my body, which that gave me the, the slight stutter that I have at the moment. Um, yeah, it was. It was a tough time of growing up. Um, I had to face a lot of adversity, whether stutter in school, out of school, with my friends, with people that I don't know, that didn't know the story, things like that. So when I was a kid, like golfers like my, I'd break away. Uh, just to be on my own, just to do my own thing. Uh, 
so that I didn't have to have to be around people and uh, don't have to talk and things like that. So yeah, growing up, very really fortunate to to be able to to do what I love and and to to be able to to have played golf to to get myself where I am today.